Hello everyone, I'm Taru and welcome to my channel IELTS Journey where I'll be sharing with you my tips, materials, ways, methods and a lot of other resources that I used to prepare for my IELTS exam. And here is my score. So, in listening and reading, I scored 8.5. In writing, I scored 7. And in speaking, I scored 8. And it is equivalent to CLB9. Well, this can also be your score or even higher. All you need is time, dedication, perseverance, and of course, the right approach. Oh yeah, and one most important thing, which we often fail to realize is that we should understand our strengths and weaknesses. That is the self-assessment. I will deal with that part in a separate video. For now, in today's video, I'll be focusing on IELTS listening. And I'll be giving you well, nine, nine ways in which you can also achieve a higher bank score in IELTS listening. So let's start with Tip number one, which is two questions at a time. Now, what do I mean by this? It means that when you listen to the recording, try and answer two questions at a time. For example, when you, re when you get the question paper and you start listening to your recording, try to answer questions number or try to uh, listen for the listen to the answers for questions number 11 and 12 this way your chances of getting lost or you know getting uh, missing out on the answers will reduce because you will be focusing on two and you will be in sync with the conversation tip number 2 it is to do with similar sounding words letters or number because uh, there can be a lot of letters or words that sound similar. So you should be able to clearly distinguish between the two. That will help you to answer correctly. And this tip is also very helpful uh, in IELTS speaking because your pronunciation there matters a lot. But for listening, try to distinguish the sounds clearly. For example, between W and double O, between the words A, H, A, or 13 or 30. So when you're doing or when you're practicing at home with the mask on, then and, and if you come across certain things like these, try to make a note out of it so that when uh, we are closer to the exam, you can refer to those notes and that would really help you. I mean, it helped me. That's why I'm sharing this. Tip number three, well, read the instructions carefully. Yeah, I know. All of you read the instructions carefully, but what I mean with the instructions here are these. So, by instructions here, I mean whether, of course, you have to fill in the blank, but with how many words or a number? Is it just one word and or a number, or is it no more than two words or three words? And why is it important? Because of this. So on, on this screen, you will see a lot of dates in different formats. All are correct. However, if the question asked to fill in the blank with one word and or a number, then this date is correct. But this will be marked incorrect if the option is to, if the instruction is to write one word and or a number. So please be very careful with this. And this tip also applies in IELTS reading. So read the instructions, especially how many words or numbers you have to fill in very, very carefully. All right. Tip number four now. Watch out for the distractors. All right. So usually in IELTS exam, the answers are not given first time. So let's see what I mean by that. For instance, um, there is this recording in which uh, there are two people who are talking about their holiday plans. And the question in the IELTS exam, they're listening, the question is, so there's person A and person B. So the question is, where did person A eventually uh, uh, 
decided to go for holiday now person a when they are now the conversation starts and person a talks about so what is your answer what you what are you looking for you're looking for the name of a country the person a starts talking you know what i decided i was thinking of going to switzerland but my mother doesn't like mountains so i thought i'll uh, go to a place maybe singapore the weather is nice yeah and then the other person also adds uh, into the conversation because it's a two way dialogue happening now you have to be very careful because you how many country names did you hear you heard singapore and switzerland but which is the correct answer singapore because eventually they decided to go to singapore so be very careful i mean you have to really focus that yes you are looking for a name of a country but don't fall into this trap of uh, just you know the answers will be given straight away so they will say something and then they will deny it and then the answer will be given and and this pattern you will see in most of the ielts listening tests if you practice with the cambridge books and i uh, strongly recommend using uh, the authentic material by uh, issued by cambridge uh, by ielts uh, officials the official materials all right coming down to the next tip it's uh, to listen for synonyms and paraphrases because the answers that are not like directly what they speak is not how it is worded they are worded differently maybe in different word order yeah so get used to that type of listening and this tip is also very important with uh, respect to your writing skills and also for uh, the reading but for uh, for the, for the listening skills get just get used to so if you come across a new word and there's a synonym write it down or a nice paraphrase write it down and the tone because sometimes when they talk the the intonation the word stress yeah so that can be a clue that you are that's heading in the direction of the answer so be very careful with that and focus so this is to do with the tone synonyms and paraphrases moving to the next tip is focus on grammar which is uh, the i mean the grammar points which are singular plural articles uh because uh, for example if the uh i'll in, in i'll listening you mark the answer as say perfume however the correct answer should be perfumes although it is the same as in of course perfume and perfumes but the the thing is the same but there is a there's a change in grammar pattern you know there is it's singular here and plural there so you will not be given any mark for that okay same goes for articles uh, usually the articles are already given in the question but uh, sometimes if you have to fill in the article make sure that you do so if you filled in the train or if you if the answer was the train but you just filled in train wrong the they will not count train as right and you will they will award you 0.5 no it is the train if you did not write the as in the article it's gone so be very careful with that again this is something which comes with practice so the more you listen the more you practice and uh, if you just uh, take these pointers into consideration when you are doing the practice at home again with the mask on this will really help you in your on the real day on the test day as this is again something which i used to do and then i thought okay i'll just compile and i'll maybe if my mistakes if what whatever i did like uh, any, any mistake which i did that's a learning for me also and that is something which if i shared it should not be repeated so yeah i hope uh, you're finding it helpful all right the next step is to do with time management and uh, this is to do with the transfer time now in case of uh, paper based listening test uh, you will be given after the end of all the recordings 10 minutes to transfer your answers from the question paper onto the answer sheet please use that time effectively yeah uh, so you have to manage the time so don't just uh, after the recording is over don't just go to the question paper again and try to change the answer here and there no use that time and transfer the answers yeah and in case of computer based there is no transfer time no transfer time 
you will get of course the time to look at the questions before attempting before the recording starts like section wise or maybe with a certain set of questions after you have answered you will be given time to check your answers and after all the recording all the sections are done you will be given time to uh, basically uh, you know two minutes to check all the 40 questions so you have to see you have to manage your time accordingly because in computer delivered test you are typing on screen so there is no paperwork you will be given a rough sheet just in case if you don't if, if, if they don't provide you you can ask for it and i suggest that you take a pen pencil from home yeah all right tip number oh by the way this is the answer sheet for the paper delivered uh, test this is the format this is how it looks like so this you have to transfer your answers onto this all right tip number eight is check check what to check yeah check for spellings guys check for grammar check if you you know if your handwriting is legible this is really important and also again this tip applies also for your writing skills and also for your um, reading so checking this is very important you know these are some of the pointers so when you practice it at home and you just keep maybe just note them down in your notebook and just see that when you're practicing are you doing all these this will really help you you know it, and it will become effortless if you do it over repeated repeatedly and eventually it will definitely help you in your exam on your exam day trust me this one all right the next tip is to answer all the questions yes of course you will answer all the questions what i mean by this is that there is no negative marking guys so don't take any risk of not answering the question even if you don't know you know if there is a question and then you're like oh i don't know the answers move to the next one but at the end when you come to check you know the check check thing uh just do an estimated guess and try to answer it maybe it's a noun or adjective you must have heard or something just just fill it in because there is no negative marking yeah so please please don't leave it blank all right hey <laughs> the bonus tip uh this tip i'm 100 percent sure <laughs> it's not given in any books or in any youtube videos because this happened with me during my ielts exam and i'm 100 percent sure that this was the one this was the one mistake that i did and i don't want you to do it that's why i'm sharing here that uh, prevented me from getting nine so what is this tip it is a silly one but i think it happened the question number layout yes okay uh i did the i took the the cdt the computer delivered test and there's a big screen but it's like you know that it's very natural to get stressed and you're wearing the mask and uh, yeah this is the first section which you attempt but then when you see the questions on screen my focus was of course you listen to the recording your hands on the keyboard and then eyes on the screen glued to the screen and then okay question number 21 now this is to say that be careful or watch out for the uh, the layout in which the questions are asked question numbers not questions question number so if it is written horizontally 21 22 23 24 or 21 22 23 24 in my case i was looking for question the answers to question number 21 done now the next question which i should have attempted was 22 so instead of looking it next to 21 i was looking down i knew that i did not realize that this was question number 23 and because of that i i, I think that was the point where i lost mark so guys don't do that don't uh, repeat my mistake i mean this is really very silly but it happened with me so i thought okay it's best to share it with you so yeah watch out for this one um and i guess this is it for today my message to you is uh yeah be focused dedicate time be perseverant 
because your focus really needs more focus. All right. So uh, if you like the video, please uh, hit, the, of course, the like button and uh, consider subscribing to it. I'll be posting more videos where I'll be sharing more tips, more materials, and I'll be going section wise so that, uh, you know, it will help you to prepare for your IELTS exam. All right. Thank you for watching and I see you next time. Bye bye and good luck with your preparations.